Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back with another video. And I'm coming at you guys with part two of Miriam Margulies on Graham Norton. As you can see, we've already watched up to this point, And that was the previous video. Make sure you go watch that if you haven't already. Really enjoyed that. I think Miriam is hilarious. She's the inner voice that we all have. But the difference is she actually says the things that we're all thinking. So pretty funny stuff. And I'm excited to finish this thing up and see... <laughs> what else is, what else goes on in the rest of this? Because there were quite some scenes in just the first half. With that being said, guys, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Consider joining my Patreon. First link in description for full reactions to British shows and movies. We watch a new movie every Friday, and we have shows for every day of the week. So make sure you join that. You get access to everything I've already done. With that being said, let's get it. If you were to <laughs> mix Michael Jackson's... Uh, don't stop till you get enough. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you like that one? I'm sure I will. <laughs> so if you were to mix "Don't Stop Till You Get Enough" into, um, which one do you know? And I'll mix it. Smoke gets in your eyes. <laughs> Cold water. So if you were to do "Don't Stop Till You Get Enough" to "Smoke Gets in Your Eyes." I've never heard it. Smoke gets in your eyes. You sing That's it. it. Go, bust it. I've, I've just busted it. <laughs> so, so Michael Jackson's beat will go. Go. Smoke gets in your eyes. You know what I mean? You got that. And yet my, my gut instinct was to do some hardcore rapping, Graham. Yeah. Yeah, but that's when you were supposed to say, smoke gets into my eye. The problem with, um, I forgot his name, but with him is that my introduction to him was him being the headmaster in the in-betweeners. So I can never look at him the same just from that. But he's hilarious. Is when I'm puffing on a doobie. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be into the, uh, when I was a kid, I used to be into the Booyah tribe. Yeah. Do you know them? Those big Samoans. Yeah. You know those guys? You must know them. Hit the gas, put on a ski mask, right where we pass, what you think, rid smoke that ass. <laughs> Let me do the second verse. This ain't a game, straight up reality, driven by the streets, born by insanity, drive by. Yes, it's the season when the gangster kills for no reason. When an MC sitting on a front porch stick him like a pitchfork, this is not New York. Wow. That's good. Well done. Now. No, no, no. That was the, the Booyah those tribe. Those are the words of, the, of a song. A Booyah of, tribe. A Booyah. You know, I'm missing out here. <laughs> I thought she was gonna kick it in a rap right there. <laughs> you know I'm missing out here. You better feel. Don't say like and heal. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Nah, I, th them two together, we need more, bro. I love their vibe. <laughs> this. The comedy flies, as do the bodily fluids. <laughs> oh, wow. Hilarity and deep penetration ensues. <laughs> You can have it. Go on. It's still in. Oh no, it's not out of its cover oh, now. Here, I think you should have this. <laughs> Actually, I made my own. <laughs> well, Miriam's been in a lot of porn. Oh really? I yeah. didn't realize Only that. Only audio, though. Only the audio. Oh, yes, okay. I have never. I've never actually done it in front of a camera. <laughs> but you make the sounds of I it. I make the sounds, and I'm not doing it now. No. <laughs> I wasn't going to and, ask. Um, you brought it up, Miriam. I, I'd rather watch your show. All right. Than, I don't than... think anybody really mm. wants this. Do you want it? No. No. We don't okay, need I'll tell you what. This if, we, no, if, we, no, if, we, if we leave it there, by the end of the show, that'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will take it. Look at him. Look at him in the shirt. He's eyeing it up. He's eyeing it. <laughs> yeah, if I can suck my girlfriend, I can get that into my bag. <laughs> now, have you ever been... Because you would make a very good Bond villain, I think, Miriam. <laughs> I'd love to have been it's a Rosa, good idea, isn't it? Rosa Krebs was one of the Indeed. Bond villains, played by Bertel Brecht's wife Ooh. in the film. Um, yeah, I, I'd love to have been. Well, we'd all, I mean, yes. there's something magic about 
James Bond. Mm. It's just a magic. But you were in Harry Potter, weren't you? I was. Yeah, yes. that's magic. Well, that was that that's was actually that magic. was terrific. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. That was terrific. Yeah. And she's also worked with the biggest action star of them all, uh, Sylvester, not Sylvester Stallone, um, <laughs> uh, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, I worked with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which was a horrible experience. <laughs> 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 Why so horrible, Miriam? Well, the real reason is because, A, because he didn't fancy me, he didn't think I mattered, and I, I really resent that attitude. Mm. And secondly, because he mm. farted in my face. <laughs> and, and, and that... That was when I was lying on the ground, <laughs> in the part. I was playing my role, uh, and I was... Satan's <laughs> sister, and I had to be killed lying on the floor with a, a, a glass table slicing my throat. Yes. So I was doing all that, and, and you know, it's difficult, can't get out of the way when you're stuck like that. No. And um, he, he thought it was hysterical. He just. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Arnold. He, so he, he did it on purpose? He just squatted in your face and. For absolutely on purpose. <laughs> On purpose. Oh, I'm thinking about the man. Oh, he eats nothing but protein. Well, let's draw a veil. Uh, I'll, I'll ask you about it. If you if you do something embarrassing around Miriam, just know everyone's gonna know about it. <laughs> Next time he's on the show, everyone's gonna know. About it. It's different when you're working class, you know, and you come back speaking posh. It it does set people's teeth on it yeah it I does know. because i have a posh voice and i wish i didn't but i i just do and um <laughs> <laughs> it, you can change your accent you should do that i just, do you know I choose an accent do. a day i always if i need something in the street i always become <laughs> scottish <laughs> <laughs> i've got to ask you what do you what do you need in the street <laughs> yeah yeah i'm like hold on what is she talking about here <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, the time or a road or a garage, you know, something okay, like yes. that. Oh, why sorry. Scottish? I tell you why, and this is true. Scottish is, an, is a classless sound and it's friendly. Hmm. Excuse me, uh, could you tell me where the nearest garage is? I don't know where I am at the moment. <laughs> I'm just slightly lost here. Could you help me out? You know? um, um... Nah, that is, that is true. Now that I think about it, I never have associated... The Scottish accent with a specific socioeconomic status. Whereas if I hear a Cockney accent, like we all, you know what I mean? We all have these associations with these. That's that's facts. And her accent is good too. It, it's friendly. It's friendly. May have rumbled you now, but <laughs> well, that's a that Scottish woman I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, is it fair to say, Miriam, that you are not physically shy? Yes. It is fair to yes, say Yes, I thought that. that was fair to say. Because what was the story? You had a run-in with... Was it painters at the BBC you had a run-in with? Yes. My goodness, things get around. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, um, one of the problems when you're stacked, as I am, you know, and when you sort of run along a <laughs> corridor... <laughs> I know you're stacked, but just lower down. <laughs> my, my stack I've is all here. Over. <laughs> It's still, the stack, it's still mean the same stack. Oh, right. yes, it still means the same, I'm sure. And uh, I was going past these painters, and they made fun of me because my tits were wiggling and you know, I was running along. And um, I thought, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. And you know, when you confront people, they get very nervous. Yeah. So I stopped, and I went over to them, and I looked at them, and I took their great big hand. And I put them. <laughs> I put them on my great big breast. <laughs> they were terrified. <laughs> I bet they were. And next time when I was going back along the corridor, they were painting. <laughs> they, you know, I didn't say a word. <laughs> Was it this 
year was it no i think it was last year you had and this is you had a really lovely honor from your school uh was it oxford school oxford, oxford high school oxford high school did you go there i went there from 1945 to 1959 wow it's the best school in the world mm. that is why i talk as i talk <laughs> clearly <laughs> and <laughs> i hardly hardly ever use the word like um, <laughs> and uh, they named a theatre space after me, which was a real thrill. They actually wanted Maggie Smith, uh, because she was at the school as well, Dame Maggie. And they asked me to ask Dame Maggie <laughs> if uh, she would like to uh, give her name to this space in the school. And I asked her, you know, on their behalf, would, would, would she? And she said, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I didn't like the school at all. <laughs> so why don't you do it? <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? you do that. <laughs> so they asked me and I said yes. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> And now, it is extraordinary that you've become so established that you do lots of work for charities, I know. Um, which... Well, when you get to my age, you sort of do that sort of thing, you know. Not everybody can do it. But I don't work all the time, so in the spare moments I have, I do things for breast cancer and kidney transplants and stroke association and all those different things, you know. I love doing stuff for charity, I get a kick out of it. Some of you may have actually seen me on uh, Loose Women quite recently. That's not talking charity. about <laughs> breast cancer. <laughs> well, it was, it was. <laughs> Don't interrupt, us. <laughs> 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 it's like question time. It's like question I, I, knew, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> that was a snarky comment. <laughs> Thing. Here's the thing. So, Miriam, you're, you're very kind of embraced by establishment, but you, you've always been quite a wild child, I would say. A little bit, yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, for naughty. Instance, I was naughty. Yes, because you, you brought our attention to this photograph. Now, what is going on? This is the 1970s, I think. Is this one of your first jobs? <laughs> Girls of slender means. I'm in the front. Behind me is Mary Tam, Patricia Hodge, and Jane Cussons, who I think is here tonight. I, I Where's Jane Cousins? There she is. There. Oh, there's Jane Cousins! Wow! Are you all in the mix? Yes, well, what happened was we had to have a scene in which everybody stripped naked. And we were a little bit shy about it. They closed the studio, of course. And we insisted that the cameramen took off their clothes as well. <laughs> And we had a photograph of ourselves covered up because it was just coming up to Valentine's Day. And then they did one as well for us. And we've got that picture as well. This is unbelievable they did this. So this is the crew. Uh... <laughs> 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 my favourite one. My favourite, though, if you, if you pay attention, look how cocky John is. <laughs> <laughs> That's John Henschel, who, took, who is responsible for getting us all together again. And I should mention our director, Moira Armstrong. It, it was just the most wonderful experience. 1976, and we are still all great friends. Oh, mm -hmm. Love each other, don't we, Jane? Yes. It's just oh, such a wonderful... They were all very beautiful. They yeah. were Thank all you, very Graham. beautiful yes, girls. Yes, you do. You look <laughs> yes. fabulous, yes. yes. She's actually single, so if anybody's... <laughs> uh, it's a proper world tour. I mean, you've been in Australia already. And New Zealand. Oh, you've done New Zealand already. Dear New Zealand, New Zealand. yes. Uh, but you get here on 23rd of June. It's tomorrow, Saturday. Is that tomorrow? Yes, it is. It is. Yes. Um, and, uh, and then you go to Canada... And the States? Yes. Yes, very good. Yes. So and all around England as well. Oh, oh yeah, don't, oh, yes. All well, right. Taunton, States. we're going to Taunton. <laughs> what part of the States are you going to? I'm going to uh, California. That's where I'm from. Yes, I know that, darling. Um, <laughs> and Chicago. Nice, yes. nice. Yes, and, and Yale. And 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 Massa all over Massachusetts. When you say Yale, you have to say Yale. Yale. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're doing the show is, is Dickens Women, and we'll talk about it in a bit. But but in order to get sort of 
match fit. You've, been, you, you've become a vegetarian. Yes, well, I knew that I'm 71 and, I, and I'm overweight and not particularly fit and I thought I must get fit to do, this, to do this tour. So I went to India to an Ayurvedic clinic and I had oil enemas every day for six weeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Does a mechanic do that? I mean, what? Not really, no. no is it hot oil, cold oil? I, I think it's warm. I think, but well, it's warm afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it really was amazing. And that's where I became a vegetarian. Uh, I eat fish, but not um, poultry or red meat. Yeah, yeah. And it really got me fit. It, it got me going. And I was able to do the tour so far without missing a show or feeling poorly or anything. Yeah. Well, you look amazing. You look very fit and healthy. Do you think so? You really do. Oh, bless yes. you. Yes. You. You, you. Thank you. you. And you do swimming. I swim. I swim every day. I haven't met you in the pool yet. <laughs> um, but I imagine that you're a bit faster than I am in the pool. Well, if I am there, I'm probably raising money for charity. <laughs> 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 now, I don't know if it's the way the programme's edited, but your trip did seem dominated by the toilet. Well, this sounds like my favourite show ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I'm nearly 75, sure. and you can't hang on to it as well as you can at your, your age and your age. So it becomes important to be able to get to a toilet when you want to. Is everything OK right now? <laughs> If I start to fidget, get worried. All right. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I, I mean, every, I think everybody would feel the same. You, you know, you want to be able to get to a toilet. Yes. And in India, if you can get to a toilet, it's not always a toilet you want to get to. <laughs> you put it like that, because yes. it's a dirty hole in the ground with two footprints and not much cover and lots of flies yeah. and shit on the wall and everything. It's, <laughs> it's not pleasant. But if you're in a hotel or somewhere like that, of course, it's absolutely as it would be in the West. Why are there two footprints? One for each foot. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, the impression I'm getting from Miriam, or, like, the way it's making me feel, is this, like, it's making me feel... You know how people are always complaining about getting old and, like, worried about getting old? And I know getting old has its caveats. Your body isn't the way it used to be. But I feel like she embraces being older, and I I don't see any difference with that in someone who's younger. Like, she just, it makes me not worried about getting old, really, because you can still have a good time, take the piss out of things when you're older. Like, things obviously become harder, but I, I don't know. That's just how the vibe I get. I painted a lovely now. picture with her experience. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, there's much more to India than yes, dirty no, toilets, is, yes. you know, but it's just something that was important to me. Well, listen, we've got a clip. Uh, this is you uh, getting ready for breakfast with your fellow travellers. Oh, I, look, I haven't seen any of Well, you'll see it now. Watch, watch with interest. <laughs> <laughs> I bought tickets for your show, by the way. Oh, thank you. I have. have you bought tickets for Matthew's show? Not yet, show? but I will. <laughs> I don't ask the comps ever. I always no? Okay. The... No, okay. Well, I we'd love for away. you to come. I will come, and yeah. I might come backstage. Just make sure you. she's <laughs> new. <laughs> guarantee you one thing, there will be bathrooms back there. <laughs> At the playhouse, hardly, but... <laughs> <laughs> and I, you have, you've exposed yourself as well. <laughs> yes, yeah. We don't have a picture, I... sadly. Calm down. <laughs> but actually, if you could find the women involved in this story, how brilliant, but we haven't, but go. Is this me working in that very rather sort of grubby cafe, being a sort of... This, Greasy teenager yeah. and wearing my very tight, tight black jeans <laughs> and feeling coming to have uh, entering the bakery early in the morning from a late night out. Why is he acting so nervous? Having just learnt how to make cappuccinos. Cappuccinos had just arrived in England, they haven't yeah. been around for a while. And so I used to make them terribly big and 
frothy, not how you meant to make them. They were sort of repulsive and undrinkable but at the time. And I put them down. I remember two lovely, uh, lovely ladies coming into the cafe and... And I think I was holding... I just learned how to hold the two cappuccinos in one hand, which I was very impressed by, and then I had a some hot, revolting, greasy croc something or other. What's it called? A croc? Monsieur. Croc, croc monsieur. monsieur and the other. And I did... I had these terrible old jeans on, which had a, a big hole in the, 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 the thing. And so I was placing them down, shaking, and sort of feeling rather sweaty and anxious anyway, that my, <laughs> my thing just fell out and just dangled and rested on the edge. And I, saw, I wasn't aware of it at the time, so this <laughs> awful... <laughs> That look, that, that exact, that, two of them doing that exact expression. And it was just neatly resting on the end, and I poured it in, and it was all, it was a horrible moment. You, I, you I, mean your cock fell out of your hand? <laughs> Actually fell out? It did, it fell out, it dangled and rested on the edge. And there was nothing I could do, because I was holding the thing. Uh, did, did, did anyone, did anyone mention it? Oh, well, they were—they were repulsed by it. It was meant to be a—it was a—it was a patisserie of a high, a high class patisserie. <laughs> did you? Did you at least try to go excuse I? And I, I, I don't know what I, I had. I just backed off. We were all so <laughs> enjoy, and then I went off. <laughs> it was really pathetic. It was not very good either. Good they didn't look good. <laughs> I know. How I don't is know it what not, kept it, in. Yeah. Well, you mentioned it earlier. Uh, that was because I saw it. <laughs> but I, I didn't see it out you on didn't, the no, table. You didn't, <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't. But I don't know. I think not, we wore. <laughs> did we? What happened earlier? <laughs> she gave me some very good advice. <laughs> I mentioned my penis. Oh, yes. It, he's beautifully... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I it wasn't like that. <laughs> it, the, I, I loved, loved it. it. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> she loved I it. I wasn't re repelled. The, no. word, the, word, is, was, the yes. word is repelled, not repulsed. No. Repelled. <laughs> <laughs> I left you alone in makeup for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was very impressed you'd noticed it altogether. The funny thing is, mentioned. when you're gay, as I am, and you never see a cock from, you know, <laughs> Martin Mass to uh, to Christmas, mm. um, you you're like very aware them. of them. You're very aware. <laughs> They're hanging all around all the time. I'm very short. Um, <laughs> I was well, standing. Yes, I was standing. You were standing up. I was standing. So there you go. I was standing very close. Oh dear. No, I bought a, I bought a DVD, which is brilliant. I don't want the lady who did this DVD to think I'm being negative about it. It's it's great, and I've done it for weeks. And I just presumed um, that the lady was some sort of yoga master of uh, her whole life, and she'd trained in the Far East or something. And a mate came round and I showed it him and said, I've been doing this yoga DVD, it's absolutely brilliant. And he went, mate, she's on Emmerdale file. <laughs> <laughs> she's really good. <laughs> but she's from Emmerdale. She's a lesbian <laughs> character from Emmerdale file. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I know in America they don't say that much on television, but I like to say it, because I think it gives people courage. Yes, I think this is I've never this met a lesbian before. <laughs> <laughs> so, because, Miriam, now you do, I'm guessing you don't sugarcoat things. Do you get starstruck when you meet people? I do sometimes. I do sometimes. I remember when I was young I, and I met Laurence Olivier. Wow. That was, uh, I, I used to collect autographs at the stage door, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. he came out. And I remember so distinctly that I started to cream in my knickers. I could, I could feel it. I could actually... I, I was all funny. That is true. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Where, wherever we thought that story was going... That is it. I honestly don't think I've ever been more uncomfortable in my life. <laughs> nah.
Bro, I thought she was crazy before. What? Gra anything flies on Graham Norton. That's what I've learned. <laughs> I think that's the worst moment of my life. It might be, bro. That might be. Oh, oh dear. Well, only get better, so. well, that's a lovely story, Miriam. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I, I think that's in the compilation. That's, that's yep. great. <laughs> That's no, it is a, it's a, no, no greater compliment, Miriam. Uh, yes, I think we should all get fans out now. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, just before we do, just before we do, I know, Miriam, you have a story. Uh, is it you in Edinburgh? I'm going to Edinburgh with my show. Oh yes, Dickens and the women, last all over the time, world. that's right. Yes. The last time I was in Edinburgh. I hope this isn't going to offend anybody. It's fine. Far ahead. I'm going to be offended. I, I, I might. I, I hope might. you won't. Yeah. Um, I was walking home late after a show one night, and I was walking through the meadows, which is a kind of field in the middle of Edinburgh, and I heard a rustling above me. Almost everything is above me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so sure. And I looked up. And I saw a young man masturbating in the tree. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. He had climbed up there? He climbed up, and I said, What are you doing? And he said, and Making he said, it rain. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well. <laughs> I felt concerned. Yes. yes. And I said, what is your occupation? <laughs> and he said, I'm a soldier. And I said, in the tattoo, because you know there's an oh, Edinburgh yes. tattoo. Yes. And he said, yes, I am. And I said, come down at once. <laughs> so he sort of oh, slid no. down the tree. Yes. And I said, you know you can get into trouble for doing what you're doing. Did you do what you did with the painters with him? I absolutely <laughs> did. I, you've heard of helping hands, haven't you? you know what I mean? Yes. I helped him out. And he was charming. And, and I must say, I must say, also grateful. And, um, Jesus, and Miriam. <laughs> He was a soldier, and you've got to support the troops. <laughs> Yo, Miriam is different. Different, guys. What? What? Oh my god, there's no way this flies on Graham Norton. What? I can't believe this. <laughs> That was crazy. That was so funny, though. Um, I, I don't really have anything else to add. You guys heard the part I added about the um, how she makes me less scared of becoming old. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the video, and some of those clips were very interesting. Uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.